Truth is the truth. Like, what I want to, I'm trying to, in my mind, I'm trying to see whether Shatwale is like the Ghanaian 6'9. I don't Tekashi. think a lot of people know who 6'9 or Takashi is in Ghana, do they? Yes, they should. I know. If you, look, if, if you're a hip hop fan, you know, you should know who Takashi 6'9 is. Is that what? Yeah, you should, but if he, you he's, don't. He's a, he's a New York rapper who has, seems to have caught a case now. And he's having no, to seems to have caught a case. He's, 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 <laughs> caught, he's got a case in him. And he's, um, okay, let me, let me, um, if you don't know who Takashi is, I mean, he goes by 6'9", because he has 6'9 tattoo on his face. Takashi is a... Is, is a he's got a lot of tattoos on his yeah, face. Yeah, but he's got 6'9". Anyway. Like, yeah, so he's got it on his knuckles as well, anyway. He's got it everywhere. Yeah, so Takashi is a, is a rapper in America that um is basically gang-affiliated. And everything <laughs> that apparently the gang have been doing, allegedly speaking, he funded it through the music. And it's something that is really, really serious. Uh, apparently police which is the fbi have been like looking into the cases of takashi and his members and they arrest him at the moment he's incarcerated right now and it's looking like he might go to jail for a long period of time if he's found guilty so uh nana is basically trying to point out right now that takashi uh could be similar to shatawale in ghana yeah no no because look they both seem to have you know enough mad followers they both seem to be very opin- opinionated and they yeah. think they run stuff. But Shatawale does run stuff though. Shatawale no, no, is a he, ru- he runs he runs his music. He doesn't, you know, and that's it. And that's fine. It's not a big problem. Right. It's not it's not a problem whether he runs his music or not. That that one nobody has an issue with that. Okay. The problem is some of the stuff that this guy says is a bit dangerous at times. You know, and wait, Takashi, Takashi Six Nine used to do that. You know, who say stuff uh, his gang what, affiliations what, 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 when he get on radio. What does Shatwali say? That's 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 cool now. Shatwali is a big, Shatwali is a big industry guy. Like he's is what, what, he hasn't said anything that I think is close to what Takashi said. I mean, Takashi was caught was recorded talking about um threatening someone on the phone. Talking about has he ever shot a gun before and all that kind of stuff. Shatwale don't do anything close to that. Shatwale is all about the entertainment. He's, Says who? What? 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 what Shatwale. Shatwale. Come on. I mean, I know. Okay. So th- this year, Shatwale has been in the news a lot, and um, also it was this by Sarkodia, which was like one of the biggest yes, things in Ghana this year. So uh, other than that, what else? I mean, come on. Shatwale is not close to Takashi at all. When you're talking about this stuff, unless you have things you can say right now that kind of look like it is, it's not. Wait, look, wait, I, the I, guy, the guy, when when he did his gun, what is came for before he did his gun in like um his show in London yeah. this year, you know he was he, he made a video in his hotel room or whatever it was yeah and the kind of language this guy was using you know it, it's where the problem lies and see listen to this that's one not even my father not even my mother. Not even the media, not even anybody for Ghana do anything for me. Make us survive. Huh. If anybody don't try, if the person don't try, make me fight well. And here me go fight on fight. You see me? Ghana go shock for me. It be me where I go make the close radio stations. It be me where I go make president stand up and say, Shata, we beg, stop what you are doing. Hold on. This guy is saying he will make the president beg. Okay. No, he's saying he made the president beg. No, 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 no. No, he's saying he, no. If the, the president is not careful, yeah, he will make. It will get to the point that he not only would he make them close, like you know, radio stations. He will make the president beg, like shut up. You know, we beg you, make, like just <laughs> what is that? What is that thing called? Let, let it be or something like that. Like okay, we beg you for. God. And he continue anyway. But talk say shut up. I beg you, stop what you are doing. Because I can do it. Many years now I've been singing. Nobody paid me my royalty. You see, and... No, what's that about? I don't know. Like, the point is, he's, he's, because he thinks he's unfairly treated in the media, everything he says, people take it and those kind of, But what I'm trying to say is, like, still, whatever way you feel, right, when you start making threatening, you know... Who's on treat? Who's... Come on. Like, Shasta's, like, the what, what, biggest thing in Ghana this year. So, in terms of music, why would you feel like he's been mistreated? No, no, you know, because, media, because, because he's... The media has helped him become where he is. No, no, no. But that's why he started off saying that nobody has helped him get to wherever he, he feels he got to. That's fine, but the media contributed to you getting it. No, he doesn't believe so. Yeah, but that 
then he's misunderstood. Like he's, he's he misunderstood feels, himself. No, no, no. He feels it's his own work, and he feels that you know the media. Um, what's that thing called? You know, like every time something bad happens to him, or they they, they deem something that he's done that is bad. Yeah. Then they are ready to kind of. Ooh, but whenever he does something good, yeah, but that goes for nobody, everyone. Nobody's in the like really to you know. But that no. goes for everyone in the industry. Shout to say no, that. No, he doesn't say that. He feels that other people are treated fairly or better than he is. And look, what look, way look, it is, look, it's a no, feeling. No, 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 no. When you on top as an artist, as an actress, as an actor, as anyone, when you're famous and you're on top, nobody want to hear the good things you do. Everybody want to hear something bad or, or something controversial around you. And Chata has thrived on that this year with all the stuff he's done. I mean, the Rain album, he's done a lot of that. I mean, the guy copied so-called, allegedly copied Rick Ross on his cover of his album. He made that happen. <laughs> and because of that, he probably had a huge buzz on that. Because And and the reason why I had a huge buzz on that is because the media also fed into it. Social media. So he, you think, Chata, you think Chata, that was Chata. intentional? You think that the Rain album looked like Rick Rose I don't, I would, I, I I don't know if, if it's intentional for him doing that but what I can tell you is this that the fact that the media and everyone took it because media is not just TV stations and radio stations it's also the people yeah, okay yeah, media me, media is everyone so him saying that the media is talking bad about him like all talking about talking bad about him it's because we are talking about you right now like the media is literally when it comes to Afrobeat in Ghana number one name right now on everybody's mouth including the media as a whole in general is Shata Wale so what is he talking about what is he talking about like otherwise Shata if you don't want no one to talk about you no, don't do music and no, don't be not, in the public eye the point is he's not saying nobody should be talking about him he's talking more about the fact that you know he feels unfairly treated uh, your, his Range Rover says otherwise. His house says otherwise. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, is, 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 I mean, uh, you've seen videos on YouTube yeah, but the where, he, the where he tells people, if you, I mean, he saw the one where a person put like, I don't know how many thousand Ghana CDs just to buy his Rain album on stage. So if some if things like that happening to a guy like that, how could he be unfairly treated? No, I don't no, understand that's the media, that. Because this, this that is, that's part wait, of no, the no, media. He feels this is his actual fans. It's called, you know, the Shutter Movement. There's a movement ah. people. That's something that he has built for himself. Yeah, but no, not anybody. But that's why he was talking about his royalties not even being paid. So he's trying to be like, look, you people are playing my song on your radio stations, on the TVs, and in your parties and whatever. Yeah, I don't get no money from that. I, I'm mad about it. Whatever it is, I'm still trying my best to kind of be the person I'm supposed to be. Yeah, you know, I got, I got my SM movement people. I'm out here working hard. All these artists are not even making money. They're broke. Instead of them coming for the blueprint, they know I've told these people, let's work together, let's make money, yeah. let's find a way to make our industry better. Like, you know, and it's it seems like he failed, that he's like almost their their Jesus. And they keep abandoning him. I don't know if that makes sense. What I'm trying to say, like I said, everything you know. about him says otherwise. Shatter is. No, no, he's saying. Let's, let's put this way. Shatter thinks he's succeeding, in spite of you know, what the, what the industry does to him. Not because of the industry. Look, Shatter right now, or Shatter in general, has always had a public image that's kind of like the bad boy. Yes, the bad true. boy. And I think he's played to look played out feel, for it. And yeah. he's played out so, you know, and to it. All of that put together, you don't. I mean, maybe that's just him getting tired of the bad boy. Look, because look, it, it, Shata reminds me of um, in the world of hip hop, globally, like in America, for example, Fifty Cent. That's what Shata reminds me. When, when Fifty Cent came out, Fifty Cent was like the bad boy of the industry. Mm -hmm. It was the, it was the, it was the guy that everybody talked about. It's like, look, don't touch him. Okay, this guy is crazy. Or this guy is really serious. It's all about what he talks about. He's, he, he lives that life. And Fifty Cent, knowing who, who that who he is and what that 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 was, he played into it. And now Fifty Cent is like a big big global name in the industry. When you look at the industry of Ghana in terms of Afrobeat or music itself, that's what Shatawale is all about. Shatawale is literally is all about that. So when we're talking about what him feeling bad, is the question is is he really feeling bad now because he's tired of it? Or is he feeling bad because he never even understood what he was in the first place? This was your image, bro. You made this image. Okay? And the media gave you the opportunity. Let's not get it twisted. If they didn't play your song on the radio, if they didn't play your, your video on TV, yeah, okay, so maybe YouTube might have helped or the numbers might have helped, but the all of Ghana know about you based on the media in Ghana. Well, that, that's just, just honest. The honest truth is you I, I can't guess, have you without the well, media. I, I, I understand what you're saying, but I, I guess he, he probably would you know, disagree with that. But for me, it just again. Where would his shatter fan came from, if it's, or come from, if no, it's no, not because, from the media? No, because he feels that he created that, like his Facebook of live things. Of course, it did. No, no, no. no, no of course, like, it. No, 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 no. Shatter is hardworking, hundred percent. Is a hardworking, one of the hardworking uh, person right now in the industry. Well, I don't think anybody is like you know hardworking more than him. You know, he, yeah. he's like you know nobody works like 
that he changed our music like crazy. Shout is Shout is a, is a hardworking guy. He's really, really hardworking. But when you look at it from the perspective of him being hardworking, you can work the industry mm-hmm. if the media don't exist in that industry. True. So you saying the media portray you badly, uh, shout out your image is what makes the media feed into the bad that badness that you're talking about. If you feel like you've been left out in the media, actually, it's the opposite. It's just that the image you would like to have is not what the media sees. That's just what it is. Yeah, but the question is, even if, and that's why he was trying to say that even when he's doing something good, then they won't even report on it. So it's always... Uh, that goes like, for uh, everyone, not just Shatter. No, because they, you see, you argue that when the sacks and those kind of people do stuff... Like what stuff has anybody reported? Know. This is my point. No, but, like, no it, one remembers anything good about any artist that's on top. The reason why Shatter is saying that right now is because, of course, Shatter, what do you think? You're the one on top. You're number one artist right now. You've A lot of buzz was on you this year, at least for the last six, seven months. He's been shattered this, shattered that. Shattered went to Nigeria, came back mm-hmm. to Ghana, was talking about how he, he he went on all radio stations he can go to where I was going to listen to him, talking about how nobody understand his song in Nigeria, but it was it was too, it was it, it got paid. Shattered put a show on this year. The show he put on this year, Stone Boy showed up. That was a big issue. The media picked it up. Uh during all that period before the before the uh the show, Shatter he dropped an album, uh Sack dissed him and a whole lot of people dissed him controversy about the, uh, the stuff he proposed to his own girl on stage he did a lot of stuff that the media could pick up on so if the media are picking up on that and then doing whatever it is they want to do with that information could be good or could be bad what is he saying you made this happen you give this image out there once you put something out there whatever it is anybody take and translate off that that's you can't control that anymore once you put something out there you can't control it if Shatter don't want to be relevant it should stop being relevant. If Shatter <laughs> want, don't want to be portrayed in the in, in the industry as bad, it should disappear. Sakoda did that for quite two years. We were just talking about where Sakoda, where Sakoda. Well, we don't know what's going on with Sakoda. Well, he said it was grooming people. Yeah, but so. exactly my point. We were just saying where the media was asking Sakoda disappeared. What's going on now? If Sakoda next year, two thousand and nineteen, become on top like uh, Shatter Wale, we will forget about Sako, uh, Shatter Wale. We we'll start talking about Sakoda. That's it's it's, it's just. The way the industry is, it's nothing personal. It shouldn't take the personal. If he wants the industry to see him differently, he needs to give them something else to see. And that's what. And again, that's why he's saying he's giving them that something else. Uh, according to the not, media, he hasn't given. It seems like they are not interested. Of course, because no. it's positive image, and they look, would like the look. You know. Negativity sells. Okay, negativity sells. I mean, look. To be honest, the positive thing it did that the media picked up on was the fact that I proposed this girl on stage. And that was the big news. That was the all over Ghana. That was all over Ghana. No, all, no. I think the Stone Boy one, you know, overshadowed that. Yeah, well, obviously. I mean, look, Idara Jakes came off stage and they were still asking him about the Stone Boy thing just after he performed. Yeah, of course. Like, come on, that's the big news. That's the big How, news. Which one is bigger? The beef is bigger. <laughs> the, oh, listen, the, big, the, the, the beef Yeah, but bigger. okay, but which one is the positive news? That's, that's arguable. The woman that he's that's been arguable. with for so long. That, that's because he's that, clearly been through a lot. At the, the, the beginning of the year, they saw him t- uh, getting blowjob in the pool. Well, allegedly, so him, anyway. yeah, allegedly, and that was a big news. And, 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 and then he was dating the woman at that time. Apparently, they want to break, but it was the, look. My point is right. I don't really dive into people's personal lives and all that kind of <laughs> stuff. But if, you, if it's in the media, it's in the media. My point here is Shatter has a lot of buzz around him, a lot of noise around him the whole of this year, and. What it is, is the media also is an industry. They want to make money. People want to make money. Everybody know the story, the kind of stories that sell. Uh-huh. So obviously, he was going to get portrayed a certain way. Now, if he doesn't like that, my message to Shatter would be stop being relevant. <laughs> because, look, your Range Rover, your house, the amount of money you charge for a show, the amount of time they spin your records, the amount of time they do all this stuff, says otherwise. Shatter, the industry right now is treating you really well. Because yeah. everywhere right now, no one is talking about anybody else when it comes to Alpha Beach right now, apart from Shatter Wally. So if that's happening in the industry, I, seriously, like, that is, you, you, they're treating you very, very well. Good news, bad news, all news is Shatter. 